It is with a great feeling of pride that I stand before you this evening as your president. A most interesting and rewarding year culminates this evening as we gather to pay tribute and honor to St. Patrick. I also recall 20 years ago when I was leaving my home for our 66th annual banquet and Diane was telling me how nice I looked. And my oldest son, Joey, then four, chipped in under the influence of television. You sure do, Daddy. You look just like Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> Joey's come a long way. Little did I realize that he would appear before you at last year's dinner to accept the president's medallion for me when I was unable to be here because of illness. I would like to publicly thank him for his pinch hit role. Everyone told me that as they say in Dunmore, you done good. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call on His Excellency, the Most Reverend Francis X. DiLorenzo for invocation. And I think after two consecutive years at our dinner, he can now be considered honorary Irish. <laughs> and God, there's one issue that I have to bring up. Last year, I said, please God, make Monsignor McGowan forget those jokes at my expense. And God, you didn't answer my prayer. He didn't forget those jokes. And what I'm afraid of, God, is this. Now that he's in Mobile, Alabama, he's going to remember those jokes. And worse is, if he forgets the jokes, and that's what I'm really afraid of, they're gonna send him back here next year. <laughs> and then he's gonna remember the jokes. So Heavenly Father, thank you for so many good things and this great fellowship. Amen. It is with a great feeling of pride that I stand before you this evening as your president. A most interesting and rewarding year culminates this evening as we gather to pay tribute and honor to St. Patrick. When I look at our president, Joe Haggerty, I think of an individual who possesses all the qualities found in a great Irishman. He has a firm belief in God and in his country. He's articulate, well-educated, well-respected among his peers. He is opinionated, compassionate, and has that quick sense of humor. Joe Haggerty is a fun person to be around. He is a great father. You look at his boys out in the audience so proud of him tonight. He is a devoted husband, his wife Diane at home with his daughter Margaret. I cannot say that I knew his father, but I do know that he was a wonderful son to his mom, Peg. And yes, Johnny Cummings, she has a gleam in her eye this evening as she looks down on her boy, Joe, president of the Friendly Sons. Back to Monsignor McGowan. It's getting so bad with the Monsignor that he's not performing his duties with the diocese. This is the second dinner he's missed in a row. I'm not going to take credit for what's in these envelopes, but I'm not going to take responsibility if I offend anybody. So let's see what they are. The Budget Motel on the O'Neill Highway in Dunmore. Where did school director E.J. Dewar go when a meeting was called to discuss the $56 million Scranton School District budget? <laughs> oh boy. The Lackawanna County Courthouse, the Office of the Clerk of Judicial Records, a book that begins with the letters B-A-K. What unpaid political advisor of Mayor Connors holds the record for the most liens ever filed in the history of the Lackawanna County Courthouse? <laughs> the 
the old Greenridge Bank, the old West Side Bank, and Northeastern Bank. This should be interesting. Name three local banks where you can no longer get a loan. <laughs> oh my God, that's my son. What did Mrs. Kelly say as she turned on the 11 o'clock news? only to watch her son Jack, Dunmore's basketball coach, coach, be escorted out of the gymnasium by the Dunmore Police Department. We speak the same language, and we have a lot in common. And we would welcome our Irish American friends, helping us in that way, and helping themselves at the same time. To build that common ground, to spill our sweat together and to grow together at our own speed to a unity that respects our diversity. Thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't give a very special thank you to Dr. John Corcoran for his assistance and his guidance and his dedication to our society. Thanks again, Dr. Corcoran. Also, three gentlemen from the Philadelphia area who assisted me greatly with our speakers and coordinating their appearance here tonight. I would like them to stand. John and Tom Elliott and special assistant to the governor, Tom Foley. As my last official act, it gives me great pleasure to present the President's medallion, noting that it remains in Dunmore for another year, to our incoming President, Thomas P. Cummings. Tommy, good luck. At this time, I would ask you all to rise and give our outgoing President Joseph O. Haggerty, a round of applause for a job well done this past year. <laughs> Joe, on behalf of the friendly sons of St. Patrick of Lackawanna County, I would like to present this past president's pen. And for the first time, thanks to Dr. Corcoran, this beautiful plaque for all your work as president this past year. If I may read it with the seal of the society, presented to Joseph O. Haggerty, 1991-86 president, friendly sons of St. Patrick of Lackawanna County, March 16th, 1991. Joe, to you and your wonderful family, I wish you many years of happiness and the best of health. Thank you very much.